This is Greg. And I'm with my homeboy, Trizay. Trigger Trey, AKA that smooth nigga. And he has a deck profile with Trap Tricks, baby. Uh, Star Set of Trap Tricks, actually. All right, so let's get ready, baby. All right, guys. Uh, I played this deck at the tournament the other night at uh, Game Theory. You know, there was a money tournament. Uh, I ended up taking first after not losing a match. And it was it was only three rounds, but it still was played against the meta decks and stuff like that. So it proved worthy. And I've been testing ratios and things, and this is what I came up, to, up with. And I've been playing this at, uh, t play this against a bunch of people. It's been doing really well lately. And I just wanted to share it with everybody and explain more things about it. Because I posted it on, on Zodiac earlier, but a lot of people were questioning cards, and I just want to explain. Just go and get it. All right, we got the first. We got three scepter for the three stick. Obviously, this card's a searcher for the chair, and this this thing is basically to start a lot of combos. Along with this card, this card draws you cards, and if you draw another copy of a, a scepter along with this or a chair with this, you get a special it too, and it's just really good at setting draws. You can only overlay this card with a with a with uh, rank four with it takes three materials on one. And this thing says whenever you overlay it with a rank four exceeds that takes three materials, you blow up a card. And if you do, draw a card. And that's it for the Star Surf engine. Uh, three Heroic Challenger Assault Albert. Uh, this is a three card engine that basically is like a Cyber Dragon that helps you get your rank four plays off of. And it also ensures if you open up with this and this with a chair and you need the second, the third material, so this live. Uh, if they veil the scepter, you still have a three-way play for, to make rank for the three materials, so you don't have a dead chair. A lot of people didn't understand that, and this also helps you make Lavable Chain, which is the most key extra day monster, but that's not a rank for three material. He just allows you to set up plays with uh, Mermelio and Diana. Uh, three Mermelio searches for your defense cards, like your Trap for Trap Nightmare and your uh, Bottomless, those cards are really good against uh, a lot of decks right now, especially Necros. Uh, two DNA. Uh, this card just, it's like Wolf Bark. It's, not, it's really unexplanatory. Not I don't want Thunder King. Uh, this is something I've been debating taking out, but it's usually at the end of the game or at the beginning of the game against Necros. Uh, you clear the board and then you finally summon this at the end of the game. That's it for the monsters. Uh, three duality and three upstart. Uh, this is really key in this deck. Uh, they get, make sure you dig to your combo pieces and make sure you get to where you need to be. Uh, sometimes you open up with kind of clumpy hands and this helps you get to where you need to be to defend yourself in any way possible. And it also digs for side deck cards. Typically you don't even want to side out upstart unless you're playing against like cool cards. Uh, some people say the dualities might be getting in the way, but like, Duality is not going to get in your way, you just have to wait wait a little bit to use it because this is a deck that takes a little time to kill your opponent in the first place and the heroic challenger along with this card is really good. It just floats and helps you control the game. Regeki, Pokemon, Dark Hole, and Soul Charge. These are the best one of those that I can think of to play this deck. And MSC is not really necessary in this format for right now, but they're all, they're all sad though. That's it for spells. A uh, three call the hunt, best trap card in this deck. It allows you to combo out during your opponent's end phase, and then you may go to Rose and pull up a card and draw a card. And there's so many things you can do with this in the deck. I mean, Mermelio blows it back when you call it back. Um, bring it back in a big exceeds monster like Ouroboros, 27 pity, you can get over almost everything. Oh, for damage. Helps pressure. Uh, three mind crush, one of the best trap cards in this format. Helps disrupt plays. You get almost against almost everything. Even should all sometimes because they're playing star sheriffs now. So if they reveal a chair, you can just send it to the graveyard. And they don't draw a card. Hey. Uh, searchable traps are trouble nightmare. The case Trishula destroys it. This card's really hard to play around unless they have a lance. Because it doesn't matter where the card is when you that goes special on that turn and negates and destroys it, even if it isn't on the field anymore. Team Air Force. It's just defensive. I thought about bumping up some three, but this plus Thunder King is just usually GG. Always does right this second, but it won't in a little bit. Uh, I feel MTNS like you said that last week, surgical. and it still sucks. Pulse. This card is helps you, helps you, helps you combo out. Uh, you can bounce the scepter, and then play it again next turn after you already summoned it. And so like that, I think. Yeah,
And we got the one warning. This card got better because man it hits Manju, Danko, Mathematician. It hit all these things before, but it just seems more viable when there's scepters and chairs running around, so you want to be able to stop the scepter. And torrential. This also helps against a lot of plays where they think they're going to be able to OTK you because you're playing a slower deck, and then you just you clear the board and control the game from there. Uh, it's 40 cards. There's nothing I can think about changing right now, honestly, besides the Thunder King. It's kind of slow sometimes because you want to do Audi and you want a Mermelio, things like that. But usually the, 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 the Thunder King's going to hurt them more than it's going to hurt you. Pretty extra. You got X Stone Knight. Pretty. Wall chain. This is key. As I said, you can stack a card you know on top of your deck, or you can dump and you can bring it back with Call. Still, uh, obvious out to cards. Thought about bumping up to two. Emerald. Also thought about bumping up two because the recycling is so powerful in this deck because you just the grinding game when this deck is too strong. One on one. Just this was emptiness. Just a play you had. Cards just outs a lot of cards. And you really don't want to shuffle back in a about. You want to just take control. Uh, Dweller. Obviously, just really good. Gaga Samurai. This card's under, uh, underestimated. Um, it just helps you push damage and it helps you kill people sometimes. It's just a good overall card. It has a defensive effect too, so if you're low on life points, which can be with this deck, with warning and time space on the side. Karen Gorgon, emptiness plus this card's really good too. The rebellion. Uh, this card just big. Helps you. It's uh, one of the few outs we have to towers. If they have another monster. Uh, Guy or Cowboy. Uh, game Ender. Rapsy. She's good against Smack Ross. Good against Deneb. Good against a lot of decks, honestly. Ragnar Zero. This is. Maybe come something else. Maybe like one of the cards I said we could play two of. Four Boros and Deltros for the three level four monsters for extra deck. Uh, these cards are just amazing. And you can slap <laughs> this over the Deltros against Shadals and BA and just call it game. They can't do it. It's usually how you beat Shadals in this deck is you make Deltros bluff and cards, clear the board with Deltros, clear a window. And boom, make that this game. They have to happen now. Right, and your side deck, mate. Side deck. Three maxi. BA. It's a lot good. Special summons a lot. Three uh, fire hand. Three, two fire hand. Two ice hand. It's just really good against clipboards. And that deck may, may not seem like it's viable anymore because they got hit, but it's still good. Uh, their floodgates are still powerful, reckless, and stuff like that. And this just takes out a lot of it. Uh, Ramesses. Uh, whenever you see someone siding and something, or you see a deck that plays a lot of back room, it's just blue side in. Soul Drain. Graveyard decks. Iron Wall, Necroz, Ritual Beast, Infernoids. Auto Win against a lot of decks. Once you clear the board against Necroz, they can't search your spells unless they have claws and then they'll play one. Now, so this is just really good. And then Time Space City against Necroz as well. I side it because uh, this card is really good against some matchups uh, like Shadows and BA and Nightmare Hole Slime is good against them. But I still would keep it Nightmare Hole against uh, Shadows because it's kind uh, That's it for the deck profile. If you have any other questions, uh, I'd be glad to answer them as the best I can. I just thought of this is kind of just, I tested this over the last couple weeks. It's been working out for me. Uh, just try it out for yourself. You know, see, this is becoming a new meta deck. It's sort of like a hat. And just check it out for yourself. Uh, this card. All right.